um sicher am Berg unterwegs sein zu können. You don't need to know a lot of knots to be safe in the mountains, but you need to have mastered certain ones so you can tie them automatically, so that you can still tie them safely when you're stressed, pressed for time, or tired. The figure eight loop, the clove hitch, the munter hitch, the overhand knot, the prusik, and the girth hitch are important for mountain climbing. The Prusik knot is the friction hitch knot used in alpine climbing. We primarily use it for rescues, but also for rappelling. We use cords with a diameter between 5 and 7 millimeters for it to work correctly, although how well it pinches always depends on the rope, or rather the rope diameter. So if I want to tie a Prusik, I take an approximately 50 centimeter long cord, tie it with an overhand knot to form a ring, and then wrap this prusik around the rope, making several coils around the rope, and I repeatedly go through the other loop of the prusik so that I can pull it tight at the end. If I pull it tight, or if the prusik is subject to a load, it creates friction and pinches the rope. If it's pinched off and I want to release it, I simply press on the portion of the cord lying horizontally over the coil. I can then release it and push it along the rope. Because knots are very important for us, we need to practice them, and they need to be tied cleanly, meaning they mustn't be twisted. They need to be pulled tight, and the ends always need to be long enough. As a rule of thumb, the rope end should be at least a hand's width in length.